who will be looking into an interesting issue which was tackled by one of the graduation projects for the Faculty of Mass Communication, Cairo University. It's called, the film itself is called Within the Borders and it tackles the problem of the congestion of the big cities in Egypt and how we can spread and enjoy and make use of the rest of our land. We don't need to feel congested, we don't need to feel uh, the desire to leave uh, our country because of the overpopulation, but uh, our uh, country is quite vast and it's uh, rich in uh, all its aspects and we just need uh, to uh, reshape uh, the demographic uh, or the demography of uh, uh, the country and uh, we should uh, urbanize uh, certain areas to compensate for the overpopulation in some of the cities. And I'm happy to have with me Dr. Asme Mahyoun, and she's a demonstrator at the Faculty of Mass Communication, Cairo University, as well as Leila Shaheen, and she's director of the film Within the Borders. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Asme, tell us more about uh, this uh, project and uh, how did you get this idea? Uh, well, uh, every year I have to supervise a graduation project for a radio and TV uh, section. Uh, we have three phases, the, uh, uh, the pre-production, production and post-production. The first phase, which is the pre-production, we have to choose the idea. We suggest a lot of ideas, then we filter the ideas till we have the idea that have the theme, that have a message that will contribute in something related to the youth, to Egypt, to whatever. Uh, we, uh, the main is the content, and this time we chose uh, the idea of uh, the internal immigration. To think out of the, the box, uh, is that the norm that all, we are all used to, to think of it. But this time we are thinking inside the box, to, to feel comfortable inside the box. This is the, the borders of the Egypt, and we are fighting the um, idea of the immigration outside of Egypt. So we are thinking of uh, having to immigrate inside Egypt and see the, the beautiful cities and start a new project for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we chose this idea and then we go to the production uh, phase and after that uh, the post-production to, to be sure that the, all the idea and all the aspects of the idea are clear and the message is uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Leila, tell me more about how did you tackle the issue as a director? There are various methods, like did you use the semi-drama or documentary? How did you uh, tackle the, the topic itself and uh, your preparations as a director for uh, the film? Okay, okay. Uh, well, I was not the only person in the group. We were 15. Uh, we worked as a team. I didn't work as a director. Yeah, that's why I'm saying as a director because yeah, yeah, we all. Um, I, I want to understand your role in it more. Okay, than I'm you. telling you my. Yeah, own? tell tell me everything you want. Okay. Uh, from the beginning, we started from getting the idea. We yeah. all worked on getting this idea until mm -hmm. we chose to work on it. Yes. And then we started on writing the script. We all wrote the script. Yes. There was no. Uh, but definitely, writer. it was only you directed it, right? No, no. Or, or we all directed. I have, and we all directed it. You all directed it. Yeah. We all. So you co-directed together. Script. Oh yeah. How did that happen? Like, did each of you do a scene, shoot a direct scene, because directing. No. We, we all yes. worked on, on it. Because directing, that means you'll be uh, say, desi deciding which shots and the, the, the angle of the shots and the location and the, the mise-en-scene of uh, the shot. So yeah. did you all decide on that or was it only you? We, we all decided on that. We all yes. sat together and we started on um, working on So it was more like a workshop? Yeah. Yes. Just to, to suggest uh, 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 as a director the shots and the scenes mm -hmm. and they all agree, they vote and they agree about the shots and how they're going to uh, produce it or execute it. So that's a new way of working actually. Oh, so, so, would you elaborate on that please? Tell me more about how did you work together to create such uh, a democratic, democratic way of directing and producing the film. I, th I think it's better than working alone. Um, we all worked on from from the beginning, from writing the script. We decided on choosing the, the, the people in the movie, and then the shots. We we traveled to many places to preview the places before and choose the the characters of the movie before mm -hmm. shooting. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, in this preview, we, we did that. Okay, Dr. Asma, um, whenever I ask about the funding part for any movie, uh, the students say that they, uh, they afford it alone and they provide for, for themselves. Yes. Why the university does not encourage the students and uh, fund their projects? Uh, well, it's um, somehow a little bit difficult. Um, uh, the, the university, uh, it has its cameras and um, uh, the supervision and everything, but when you come to fund, uh, to the fund, we need sponsors. And this is the challenging part, because a lot of spo the sponsors, uh, sometimes they accept the idea, not the, the idea of just supervising or sponsoring a project. They need to know the idea more. And that is not clear until you finish the project. So the idea of sponsorship is somehow difficult. And for the university to fund like six projects in the English section and more than 12 projects in the Arabic section, it's a little bit difficult because it needs a lot of money. You know, we need uh, for the production, we need more than cameras, we need mics, we need um, the, the, the traveling issues and everything. So it's somehow difficult. But we need the, the idea of the sponsorship to be um, uh, to be discussed more. We need the, the support of the sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Now, Leila, I'd like to know more about uh, uh, the film itself, uh, because I understand that uh, the film has uh, three characters, and each character decided to go to a different area. So you went to Dahab, you went to Nubia. And definitely going to these areas must have been quite different for you. So tell me more about the experience, and how did you um, tackle each uh, area, because definitely the nature and the society in each area will need a different type of approach when directing your film. Okay. Uh, we start, as I told you before, we previewed the places before, yes. before going and shoot. So we, there was pre-preparation. Yeah, like, no, I mean, tell me about your feeling about it, your experience in Dahab, your experience in Nubia. Definitely, you must have had either some uh, interesting uh, memories or some challenging in some areas like if we talk about Nubia is the topography that's in uh, Aswan uh, the topography is different if you're going to a Nubian village you have uh, to go to uh, uh, West Sohail or to the Elephantine you had to do take ferries or go within the desert and the people themselves they are tribal so how tell me more about uh, your experience uh, when going to Dahab did you go to a resort area or did you go to the Bedouins so tell me more about your experience itself within wanna, these areas. Okay, I want to start from, from the beginning. Yes, the idea go. came from Nabila, she, she lives in Dahab. Yes. Uh, we, got, we got all the idea from her. She's yes. in her 20s, mm -hmm. she works in a corn project. Mm -hmm. She do food from corn, salads and uh, desserts mm -hmm. from corn. And she tried doing it here in Cairo, but she, that was difficult uh, about the fund and else. So she started going to Dahab and she started her project there. She's living there quite yeah, totally alone. That was challenging. So we started working on looking in different areas. Mm -hmm. uh, she, all the people there were so helpful. Nabila was so helpful. She helped us knowing more people in, in other places. Mm -hmm. We went to Gona, we went to Fayoum, we went to uh, Aswan, Siwa. Uh, intruding the characters, uh, we uh, insisted on choosing three characters, three dif uh, difficult, uh, three different, sorry, three different characters. Mm -hmm. So in Siwa there was Ferris. He was in his thirties. Uh, he was living, he was living well in Cairo, but he decided to uh, to go to Siwa specifically because he wanted to live in peace. Mm -hmm. So he decided to work there as a teacher, English mm -hmm. and computer teacher for Bedouin's uh, child. Mm -hmm. um, we got to Aswan, we, we chose uh, a person, Hazem, he was in his 40s, he traveled before to America and China, and he has a foreign uh, wife, but he chose to live in Aswan after after he went from back from there, you know, and that's it. Okay, Dr. Asma, um, regarding the team of the movie, um, how many people are, or how, how many students are participating in, in in this movie and how long does it take each uh, movie? Average, there are 15 students for each group 
sometimes from yani from 12 to 16 but they are uh, for my group it's 15 uh, it uh, it takes like every graduation project two semesters as i said before we have phases the first phase for the first semester is the pre production uh, which is the filter is choosing the idea and the filtration of the idea and then uh, writing the script after writing the script uh, at the beginning of the second semester we have uh, a presentation uh, to take the approval of uh, the idea and to put grades for the the, the paperwork and after that we start the execution part which is the production part and we have to hire the cameras and to start uh, to know where are the locations and everything and after the the production phase we have the pre the post production phase which is the the montage or, or the editing and uh, choosing uh, the poster and uh, the costumes for uh, the project and then we have uh, the the panel the juries when they come to, to see the movie and the uh, the defense of uh, the group uh, with me because i'm part of the projects as uh, yani they are 15 students with me we are 16 and then after that we have the celebration of the ceremony when we have to know the ranking of the projects and and every, uh, for the the, the mass to, to watch it mm -hmm. well actually um, it's quite interesting because your film is called the first rank yes what was your feeling <laughs> and i'd like to hear from both what of you ladies yeah uh, for me uh, it's for me like them uh, for sure because I'm part of the group I'm not only the supervisor I have to have the spirit of being part of the group uh, even my I, uh, my opinions is like voting I, I know I have more experience because I, I supervised a lot of projects but for me when we started talking about how we're gonna work together I said my opinions will be like one of you and I will vote so like part of the group I was so happy uh, not only for the first ranking but uh, for the um, feedback of the people because they liked it for me it was not only for taking the first rank we faced a lot of difficulty in the three places uh, for example in siwa we we faced heavy rain so we decided to continue with shooting and we make shelters with the jackets and we we, st we continue to the matches so being successful in something like that is, is, makes me so happy and also the feedback of the people I want to say something because uh, the, the 15 students, they did everything with their own hands. The shooting, uh, the editing and everything. Uh, they didn't use uh, um, other uh, production houses or things like this. So that's why they felt like the first ranking, they deserve it. Okay, uh, when it comes to the idea yes. uh, for any project uh, or, or movie, they should come up with any idea or you set certain ideas and they choose from? No, I don't set uh, certain ideas at all. Uh, they are free, because, but they know that we have like red lines. Um, uh, yani, as well as these, uh, the ideas are not um, coming with these red lines, it's okay. Uh, we know it's a documentary, so they don't have to go to the drama or the aspects of drama. They should know the meaning of documentary. Uh, for the first meeting, I say what's the documentary and how they're going to execute it. And it's all about a place or about uh, a person or about like whatever and I say just be creative every person have to come with five ideas and to uh, explain it very well and then we come to the, uh, the the second part which is filtration of the idea we have to set the message and the theme and everything so it's okay to, to say whatever idea that comes on your mind and we have to all to agree on it well uh, okay go, Russia, ahead, go, no, no, go, go ahead, ahead. Wrap it up. <laughs> Dr. Asma uh, Mahyoun, uh, uh, demonstrator at uh, Faculty of uh, Mass Communication, Cairo University, and uh, Leila uh, Shaheen, director for the movie Inside the Box. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome once again to Nal Cruz. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Well, and now we will be going to a quick break, but uh, stay tuned for more coming up on Nal Cruz. Mm -hmm.